Hey, Chappie here. Last week I showed everybody how to make an easy mount. This week I'm going to show some practical applications of how I've used it myself, and I also did some testing this week. The first thing I want to show is with this easy mount, it actually has a flat surface if you cut it straight. And you can sit it down just like this with a little camera. Here's the easy mount set up with the flip cam. Now here's the easy mount set up on a broom pole, and it has about a one inch diameter. Now you can see here that I'm trying different types of cameras just to show you that there's all kinds of options. Here's a flip cam, here's my old Sony Handycam, and here's my Panasonic DVX100A. Now I do think, personally, I wouldn't use this easy mount with a big camera like the Panasonic DVX unless I was putting it in a stationary position. However, if I was using a smaller camera, like say something less than one pound, I would have no problem mounting this setup all over the place, like on a motorcycle, or on a jet ski, on a bicycle, roller coaster, you name it. Now with the clamps that I've showed, I can only go up to about two and a half inches. However, if you take two clamps and connect them together, and then get two more clamps, you can go up much larger in size. Here I am setting up my easy mount to a three inch diameter. This is my potato launcher. Look at this really neat POV I was able to set up. I could point a flip cam right at the edge of the barrel and watch the potato fly out. Here's another example. On my web series Grown Up Guide Puff, I wanted to show a Christmas tree being chopped down. So I used the easy mount to mount a flip cam to the very top of the tree and then was able to cut it down and show the whole process. It created a neat POV and it was a fantastic solution and I was able to connect it in a couple minutes. Here's another example. I recently worked on a TV pilot for a friend of mine. When we were on location, we needed a way to hook up a bunch of cameras to a bunch of motorcycles. So I used the easy mount on eight different bikes and we got all kinds of cool POVs. The motorcycle frame diameter was the perfect size for the clamps that I had. I was able to hook the camera to the front of the frame, the back of the frame, on the luggage rack, on the handlebars, by the exhaust, and it was a fantastic alternative to using the conventional Hollywood rigging that is out there. I also want to point out that if you need to protect the paint, you can always use the bottom piece from the T-fitting when you cut it in half. It can help protect the surface of whatever you're trying to attach the easy mount to. And this is what we did on the motorcycles. So as you can see, the options for what you can do with that easy mount are endless, and it's a great tool for your filmmaking bag of tricks. Now, in regards to next week, I have a little surprise for you guys. I'm doing my very first contest. So tune in next Wednesday, and we'll see you then. Happy Showcase.